So I'm going to tell you a little bit about um, the Fabric testbed. We just finished four years of construction on a testbed called Fabric, and that last talk was such a great lead-in of what I'm going to talk about. So Fabric, what is it? Um, it's about a $45 million um, government and National Science Foundation funded research infrastructure, and it's a place where you can securely prototype and validate designs in networks, distributed systems, and use the testbed basically is a place to closely emulate real-world production but not influence your real-world production. And we hope that people come and we've had a, just a variety of really interesting beta testers from domain scientists to network operators to um, security people who just want to use, our, use the data and measurement data um, to, to develop new applications. So high level, what is it? So this is essentially it's a test bed for networking, distributed systems, security, machine learning, any kind of kind of systemy computer science testing you can think of. We are at 30 US and four international sites. We have dedicated 100 gig um, DWDM at nine core sites. We connect to uh, public clouds. We you can peer at IPv4 and six, and best of all, it's free. You can get an allocation, and I'll, I'll show you some other uh, good things you can get from us. I scratched out networking because originally we started as a networking test bed, but really it's a distributed systems test bed. This is our very convoluted um, diagram, but basically to show you the footprint. So yellow is where we have dedicated um, optical links. And we do have people doing things like, um, you know, it's, it's hard to get access oftentimes to, to, you know, optical connection to do your work. So we have people doing things like, I want to see if I can sense um, a DDoS attack uh, on optical. Um, it, just various really interesting experiments. But this is our footprint. We're at commercial colo sites, universities, labs. Uh, internationally, we're all the way from Tokyo. Uh, we're in Hawaii, in the UK, in Amsterdam, and we're at CERN. So what is Fabric? Basically, it's a rack. And so at all these sites that I've shown you, it's a rack of equipment which has compute. Um, mixture of uh, GPUs, CPUs, um, FPGAs, programmable NICs, a uh, little bit of storage that you can use, all sorts of networking, dedicated ports from 25 to 100 gig, as well as some P4, uh, Tofino-based P4 switches. And every site has a GPS-based timing, so very, very accurate time stamping. And we make all those metrics. Um, we, we've heavily instrumented each location. All those, for the most part, 80% of the metrics are, are going to be publicly available. So why do we build this? Um, increasingly, you know, we see networking as part of the computing continuum. Uh, we, we see, at least um, for domain scientists, there's no longer kind of collecting data, setting it across the network and doing analysis somewhere else. We're seeing more people um, wanting to do um, computing as part of the network. So that was kind of the driver behind it, more, more folks thinking about P4 or OpenFlow. Um, and we want to also see the network as an instrument, as a scientific instrument where people can do um, experiments for next generation. So how can you use it? Uh, a sandbox for new ideas. If you don't want to trash your uh, you know, production, uh, you can use us. Even if you're a large company that has a sandbox, we have a very large footprint. Um, connect to real facilities. We connect to supercomputing centers and cloud and other test beds, um, even things like cloud test beds. Connect to us everything from, you know, you can do testing everything from layer one, two, three, um, anything that you feel is interesting. We have people doing things like port mirroring. They're um, doing port mirroring, taking that data, sampling it, seeing what interesting trends. So pretty much anything you can think of, we can, we can support. And smart PDUs everywhere, too. Uh, some people are doing full-scale prototypes. Uh, again, at production scale, it's you know, geographically distributed, connecting to real facilities, and... Um, Especially for people trying to, to uh, make new products, you know, you can justify an expensive or risky system by showing that you've done it um, at, on a test bed. Just a couple use cases. Again, we, we have a fair number of kind of domain scientists. So this is just one interesting example of cosmologists. So they're building something called uh, CMBS4. It's an array of telescopes in Chile and the South Pole. And what they're doing is they're doing they're they're looking at dark energy and they're looking at millimeter wave, at all sorts of um, co you know co cosmological type things. It's not operational yet. This, these things take a long time to build. And what they want to do is because in the past, if you see a really interesting uh, gamma ray burst, it's fleeting. You may see it you know, days later. What they're trying to do is what can you do along the network so that if you see that, and this is where you see the compute as part of the network path, if you see something interesting, how can I kick off and say, you know what, I want another detector, somebody to look at a transient. So. So the old method was collect the data in Chile, send it back to the US, kind of sift through your data. 
now they want to do things quicker and, and kick off another process. So they're, they're using us to validate, is that even going to work? Particularly from South America all the way up, it, is, is the timing right? And do they have the right analytics in, in the network using P4? Another kind of interesting one we're doing with uh, NVIDIA, um, this, uh, two things. One is um, to kind of play around with NERF, which is you can take a 2D picture and, and make it kind of 3D. Um, and we're doing a collaboration with artists. They want to work on a sculpture together. So some in the UK, some in um, New York, uh, some in Chicago. And how do you kind of work on an artwork together? I interesting. And there's all sorts of systems and networking challenges. Um, but this is just something that we feel uh, is interesting um, as something to test out the network without just have, you know, doing a plain old network testing. Take our data. We're making most of it open to, to, for, for pretty much anybody for research. Um, there's very uh, little stuff that we consider, you know, kind of, kind of PII type stuff. But for the most part, all our measurement, our power, cooling systems, uh, a lot of security researchers want to want to use the data to look for uh, patterns. So that's all going to be made uh, available to people. Right now, we have a lot. Even though we're in beta, we we became operational a couple weeks ago. We already have 800 users, 100 plus projects, 108 organizations, and we hold some workshops with tutorials, uh, all of which are free and. Uh, most of the videos are online. If there's questions, uh, email me. You can go to our, our project page. We have all a uh, description of the diagram. All our code's open source. And uh, feel free to uh, jump on and uh, give us a try. And that's it. Thank you, Anique. We do have time for one quick question, if anybody has anything they want to ask. It's late. I know, but you know, go to give them the chance. <laughs> okay, thank you again, Anita. <laughs>